up, folks? I'm the dude with Sean Washington, uh, GGN TV. Um, excuse my voice, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a little under the weather, you know, um, going, through, going through the changing of the season and then this pollen. You know, you may hear my voice may crack a little bit, but um, it's just, you know, um, just a little under the weather. You may see me sit down, you know, kneel down over here and pick up a cup. Hey, now and then, got some tea in here with some, you know what I'm saying, lemon juice and honey. So I'll just be sipping on that. But I want to tell y'all, thanks for joining me. This, this is, um, you know, GGN, like I said, we air every Friday and Sunday at midnight, every week, weekly. You can catch us at Generation Got Next at Yahoo.com. Generation Got Next on MySpace. Generation Got Next on Twitter, which I don't normally mess around with it too much. But um, this 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 segment is what we call up close and personal talking politics. You know, um, the last, um, the first episode we had, we talked about Obama helping. You know, what I'm saying trying to push the health care bill and how it could help the people. And then we and, and in that same segment segment, excuse me, we talked about the child support issue. So in this segment right here, we're going to talk about. Uh, we got two more things I want to talk about. We are gonna talk about um, taxes, these 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 county taxes. They tax you on your vehicle. Um, we gonna also talk about um, the, this tobacco law. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy, and I got some so I got some breakdowns for y'all. So I'm just not talking. I'm showing you numbers because you know, you know. The people, real people out there, the people in politics and everybody, everybody know it's about numbers, you know what I'm saying? You can talk all day, you know what I'm saying, and say what you may think, but when you got numbers to show and back up what you're talking about, then that's when it count, you know what I'm saying? So basically, it was in black and white account, and I grabbed it off the internet. So I got the information for y'all on these things that we're going to touch on. So, um, first up, first up, I, I want to I talk about something here. So... You ever feel like, right, you be wondering, right, you got a vehicle, right, you going down, you paying your, your taxes here in Guilford County, as well as uh, everybody else in the other 99 counties in the, in the state of North Carolina, you go and you paying your vehicle tax, right? So you pay it every year, but you don't think about it, you know what I'm saying? You're just thinking, hey, this is what's supposed to happen. That's not what's supposed to happen, you know? They got people paying vehicle taxes, right? And I, and I pay my taxes on my vehicles too. And, 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 and why I bring this up because, you know, for a long time I've been paying taxes on a vehicle but never asked the question but always got back in the car after I made the payment and said, why am I being taxed two times for this, this car? You know what I'm saying? You, you bought it off the lot, you got taxed for it. So that every year you're going to get taxed for it? Like, am I getting penalized for driving? You know what I'm saying? That's how you may feel. So... I'm gonna just run down the scenario to you. So I called, I'm, I called downtown Greensboro, and I just happened to pose that question. I said, "Hey, listen, why am I? Why, why do you have, uh, you know, um, residents? Why are they? Why, why are the people in the state? Why are they paying taxes twice on the vehicle?" She says, "I know it's it is, it is kind of you know it's a, it's it's confusing. It's you know." So I said, "Yeah, it really is. You know, that's getting double taxed. You know what I'm saying?" What is that with this? What is this? Tax, taxation, annexation? What's going on here? You know what I'm saying? So, um, I said, um, that's kind of crazy to be getting taxed like that, you know? Um, she says, yeah, you get taxed from the state when you buy the car, which is the correct way. You know, which is a logic way. You're supposed to, you know, they gotta get they split. Then she said, yeah, the county, whatever county you reside in, you gotta pay the taxes on, you gotta pay the taxes every year to them. So I said, wow, that's crazy. I said, you don't think that's crazy? She said, yeah, said, that's crazy. So I know a lot of times we probably, we all paying these taxes on these vehicles, right? And we sitting down and once we pay them, then we ask ourselves, well, before we pay them, we like, why are we, why am I paying taxes on this vehicle? So it's like, you don't, it's not a, it's, it's not something that's spoken about because everybody thinks that that's what's supposed to happen. That's not right. So you pay taxes on a vehicle, check it. You pay taxes on a vehicle, uh, once you buy it, then as soon as you buy it and you get those plates, you get your 30 day pass, you get your plate, your actual plate. Mind you, that prisoners are making for nothing, you know what I'm saying, across this state. So you get your plate. 
So after you get your plate, two months after you get that plate, they're going to tax you. And, and I'm not lying. It's, it's right in the paper right here, y'all. It's right here. I printed it out. You know what I'm saying? It's not a lie. It's, it's right here in the papers, you know. It's right here. Whatever. Everything I'm about to, you know what I'm saying, start talking to y'all about the taxing on vehicles is coming out of this. Now, mind you now, the vehicle tax is totally different from the, you know, then you got your, you own a home property tax. So you figure you're getting tore up in taxes. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and then, not only that, but at least if you got a house, you can claim that on your, you know, you can claim that. You get a vehicle, they're taking our money every year. We can't even get that back. We don't even get that back. We can't even claim it. They don't have no special section for us. They don't give us a portion of that back. It's like, wow, I just paid for my registration. Then you hit me with a, you hit me with a bill two months later to pay you for these, for, 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 for taxes on the vehicle. Actually, you're paying for the plate. Those taxes are actually for that license plate. Tell you reason, reason why, well, how it is and how it goes. It's, it's broken down right in this, you know, right in this information I have right here for you. You know, you got the tag. That's how they know, you know what I'm saying, you got a car. So, so therefore, when you got the tag, they're going to charge you, they're going to charge you on that tag. You know, that's what your tax is going to be. Um, a certain percentage of that comes out of here. I'm trying to look for it now to give you the actual percentage rate. Um, actually, to tell you the truth, they don't even they, they don't even tell you the actual percentage. They just say whatever the tax is at that time that you know what I'm saying you purchased the vehicle. You know what I'm saying? They really don't tell you in this paper right here. You know, and I got this straight off of the website again, once again off of the county of Guilford. North Carolina Tax Department, right off of their website. And I just find it ironic, I find it crazy that you would tax somebody two, two, two times for a vehicle and this is okay. Now, I know they do this in VA too, but um, this is crazy. That's crazy. I, I, I was trying to look up information to really find out how did this come about. Was this something that was just supposed to be a temporary thing at one point, but then it just came to be permanent? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not an actual law, but they made this up as a law for this for, for the ninety for the hundred counties in North Carolina. Once again you just tune in to GGN TV. Um we, we call this up close and personal talking politics. I am your host Rashawn Washington. I'm the creator of Generation God Next. And um I I I, I this is this is this is part this is episode two I should say. The first time like I said we talked about Obama and the healthcare how I can help you and we talked about um, the child support issue. Now this is this is this is the second um, edition, and I'm talking politics with you about taxes on your vehicle. And I'm talking politics about you about the tobacco. I'm talking about the tobacco right now. I mean, today with you. you know what I'm saying today I'm sitting here and I'm just going over some things here right now. April. So I'm, I'm gonna break down to you. You know what I'm saying some of the questions that you may have. When you for your plan taxes on your vehicle to the county. Once you buy the vehicle, you pay the taxes to the state. That's the taxes that you pay. Every state does that, but every state doesn't pay taxes on a vehicle every year. That's 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 crazy, and I think that's just stopping. I think the people downtown and 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 and, and the city council members they should speak up about this. Nobody is not saying nothing about it. that. That's double tax. People don't have money, and times are hard. So when you sit back and you think about some of these things, you say, "Wow, how you know you may go through your you, you know people may break down a you know a budget or whatever they have in their family, you know throughout every quarter, every year, whatever." And you may go through things and say, but wow, I'm spending money on, on use. What, what, what am I spending money on that's useless that really we, we, don't, we shouldn't have to spend money on? And this is what could be a bill that you really won't have to spend no money on, you know, because you paid your debt to the state. So why, why, why do you have to keep paying this to the county that you reside in? That is ridiculous to pay taxes two times on a vehicle. I don't care what you say. To all the... To all the... Uh, Politicians in the city of Guilford or wherever, Guilford County or surrounding. Now, nah, I come in, this is all love. I'm not coming, I'm not trying to start no violence. I just was raised by people that tell me to speak up. I was raised on that. So when you feel like something not right, you speak about it. Plain and simple. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm speaking about it, I'm bringing it to the people. Because I know it's people that sit and they, and they say this to themselves every day. 
or, or, or every time they have to pay their vehicle taxes. And then they own a home, so then they got to pay the taxes on the home. But you get that back. You can get some of that back. You can't get this back when you pay this money. Like, we just give you this money. We can't. We, we, we don't recoup nothing from this. Not a penny back. It's like, F you, pay me. You know what I'm saying? So I got this. This is one question that says, how am I billed? For my for my taxes on my vehicle. Now this is a question that you may have if you ever go to the um the Guilford County um the, the on the Guilford County um tax department. You know what I'm saying? If you go to the website, this is a question that you may want to know. You know how am I billed for my tax? And it says about two months after you renew your renew or you are issued a new tag, you will receive a bill which is due payable on the first day of the following month. For example, if you have a March renewal, you will receive the bill in May. Uh, it, it will be due on July 1st and may be paid by July 31st. To avoid interest, we are required by law to bill the county, municipal, fire, or any other special district taxes for which the vehicle is located. That's crazy when you already paid the taxes already for that purpose the first time when you purchased it. You know what I'm saying? Whether you lease it or whatever, you still pay taxes before you pull off the lot. You pay the taxes, the tags, title, you know what I'm saying, and taxes. You pay that, you know what I'm saying, before you even can pull it off the lot. So why continue to have somebody keep paying taxes on a tag? They make, they're really making you pay the taxes on the tag, people. It, it, it's just that when they look at your car, they say, oh, you got a 2010 Mercedes, or you got a 2010 Infiniti, or you got a 2010 uh, Chevy truck. Okay, well, this is how much that truck is worth. So this is how much you're going to have to pay in taxes. And it'll drop down every year. You know what I'm saying? A couple of dollars will come off the end of it. But still, why, why are you being taxed like that? So then I go on and say, what if I don't agree what my what my uh what if I don't agree with my vehicle value? They say please provide proof showing the market value of vehicle as of January first. Such proof might include bill of sale, high mileage, physical damage, etc. We will make any adjustments of value that are warranted. Appeal of value must be made within thirty days of notice. So that lets you know right there, you know, you may have to keep checking up and making sure that they, you know, that they got the right info on your vehicle. Um, then it's, then it's another question. This is all coming off of the Guilford County Tax Department for your vehicle. This, you know, um, it says, how do you determine my, ve my vehicle value? This is a question that you may ask. By North Carolina law, your vehicle value is determined as of January the 1st of the year the taxes are due. A number of months of depreciation may occur on the vehicle by the time you receive the bill but we must use the January 1st value we are required by state law to appraise the vehicle at its true value in money all 100 North Carolina counties use the same vendor to value their vehicle and what vendor is that you the Kelly Blue Book is known you know what I'm saying so if you're not using the Kelly Blue Book which if you why, why if you were you you should have said that but if you use the Kelly Blue Book the Kelly Blue Book will plainly give you any value of a vehicle it will give you the value of any vehicle you know what I'm saying that's ever made that will ever import it to this country you know what I'm saying made here or imported to this country it will give you the value on it you know what I'm saying so if 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 they if if the county of Guilford County, vehicle tax department, you know what I'm saying? If, they, if they're if they using that, they should say that. And if I'm wrong, people, if I'm wrong to all the politicians out there any in, in Guilford County or whatever, you sit on the board of commissions, whatever it is, if I'm wrong, feel free to email me and get a chin check me and get send me some information because I looked and I ain't find, like, how is this benefiting? Who is this really benefiting? You know what I'm saying? It paid nothing for the prisoners to make the license plate tags in the state.